Yo guys, how you all doing today? Welcome back for a brand new video. Now, if you're like me, you hate international football, apart from Euros and the World Cup. Now, for some teams, there is stuff to play for, of course. But for England, they've got basically nothing to play for. These two games that they've got coming up are just friendly fixtures. And those friendly fixtures... Someone who get seriously hurt, seriously injured, and then they're knackered for their club for the rest of the season. So it doesn't make sense to me. But this is how Gareth Southgate has picked a squad for the next two games. Now, Pickford is not even the best keeper, English keeper. For England, he's a rock. But for club, he's diabolical. I mean, come on. He's terrible. He's just dinosaur. Really. Fucking terrible. Little arms. Maguire at the back. Like, how can you put Maguire at the back? He's been absolute shite for the last few seasons at Man United and at the back. Yes, he may be good for England, but for me, if you're Gareth Southby, you're watching these games around the country and you're watching them, but like, oh, Maguire's had a shite game. Um, he's had a shite game. Huh? He's had a shite game. You know what? Time to make a choice. Who do I pick? You shite players. Come and me. You're into the squads. And where right, the good people. Like so far Dan Burns. Since he's been in Newcastle. Has been in form. Has he been like a brick wall. And hasn't been selected. Neither has Matt Target at the back. He's been playing pretty good lately. Not selected. Now Harry Maguire. And Luke Shaw are selected. Luke Shaw hasn't had a game for the last two months. I don't think. Because Tellez has been ahead of him. I don't understand Southgate's logic in this. You know, you can tell Southgate hates Newcastle United, you know, because you could argue and say before the Chelsea game and Everton game, you could say that Newcastle were the most informed team in the league then and Liverpool. But it's up to the manager in it. What's that thing to say about um, Harry Maguire? Emotional damage? Emotional damage! Emotional damage! Emotional damage. <laughs> yep, emotional damage, all right. For the fiftieth time. But um, yeah, it's just a waste of time. He's friendly, isn't it? I'd recall Switzerland. That's don't get this. I don't know. You could just rest their players for the next two weeks. You know, try and get everyone fit, try and get everyone healthy. But no, you're going to risk them playing daft friendly matches that you don't need. And they're going to get hurt and injured and, you know, they're going to be knackered for the clubs. But that's me crying about it. I don't know why I'm crying about it because I'm praying the Hurricane somehow breaks his leg for England coming up and then he won't be able to play against Tottenham from Newcastle against Tottenham. That'd be a big bonus for us. That's the way I want to say it. But obviously, he's an England player. I want him to do well for them. But yeah, Harry Maguire... If there's any enough worse of a Premier League player as centre back, it is Harry Maguire. He's shite, man. Like, Tamori hasn't even made it. Really. Gahi has made it into the squad. But. Oh, Jesus Christ, Harry Maguire. Even Mark Gold, whatever you call him, Goldbridge lad, said that he's going to be the best centre back in the world. How wrong was he? Manchester United, forget the negativity and jump on board. He will bring to Manchester United is really, really important. So forget the negativity about the transfer fee and all that jazz. The transfer fee logically makes sense. That's a cap. Of course, it's ridiculous, but it makes sense with regards to Van Dijk. Went for this 75 million 18 months ago. He's English. He's England's best centre back. Harry Maguire. <laughs> What are you doing? What is he bloody well doing? That is the worst bit of defending I've ever seen from United. What? Harry Maguire again. Stupid foul. Quick free kick. Two one down. Two one down. Bloody rubbish. And his name is John C. Absolutely shit. He's just left 
tap the ball and the striker puts it in. He's bloody useless. 80 million pounds we paid for him. 80 million pounds we paid for him. Transfer fee logically makes sense. Shall we begin? Fuck off! Piss off! Yeah, well, first and foremost, apologies to the fans. Um, it's nowhere near good enough for this club. Good night! The transfer fee logically makes sense. Of course, it's ridiculous, but it makes sense with regards to Van Dijk. Went for this 75 million 18 months ago. He's English, he's England's best centre back, he's Premier League proven. Anyway, that wraps up this today's video. I know it's been short, that's my verdict on the international break and England's upcoming fixtures and whatnot. But anyways, more than likely, you're on your own, yeah. Please give me a like and subscribe and peace.